It's me, JD. And we're back with more Phasmophobia. I'm kind of talking quietly because everyone else in my family is asleep. And it's kind of late at night. So I really don't want to wake up my family for anything crazy. So the point of this recording session is just to limit test some things in the game. I kind of want to figure out whether or not, um, or how to, how to get experience like the most optimally, whether or not these objectives really matter, or if all that matters is that we get the ghost. So for this run, I think I'm just going to finish this objective, objective number three, and I'm going to leave. So I'm not going to figure out what the ghost is or do anything else, just, just the, the monitor. So let's get that. And then after that, I think I'm going to try and do an objective. Or I'm going to try to figure out uh, what the ghost is, but do no other objectives to see if that is the free play. So my, my objective right now is not really to figure out what ghost I'm dealing with, but just to get the real temperature. So it's not over here. It's good to know. Let's go ahead and check out these rooms. Just doing a really quick sweep. You don't really need a lot of time to be held in here. Now, one thing I've noticed with this game is how different it is when uh, the game just feels so much different when you're playing it alone than when you're playing it with like a friend or something. Like I don't have James with me here to play with because he's probably asleep, but not particularly bad or anything but just when you play alone like this you're just so much more aware of sounds that happen around you and interactions like every little creak and every little noise that the ghost makes you're just immediately aware of it. Now, I'm not seeing anything, so I'm thinking I'm going to try and get the ghost riled up so that maybe it'll make a room uh, colder. I forgot to look at the ghost's name, but from the rooms that I've been in, it hasn't been particularly cold yet. So I'm going to go back to the van. I've realized that this game takes a lot of patience, but that's just something I just don't have enough of. So I think for this run, I'm just gonna try and end it with, I'm gonna try and just end it with no objectives completed, but I've got money. And I'm gonna see if I get any XP from that. So yeah, that's good enough for me. Let's just see where that goes. Welcome back. There's some jobs ready for you. So Ghost was a revenant. We've got about twenty-five dollars from photos and bones. We did get some XP, fifteen XP from that, even though we didn't do any objectives. Okay. I'm gonna go again for yeah, this run. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and figure out try and figure out what type of ghost it is, and that's it. I'm going to try and just get objective one. That's the plan. That's the plan. And I'm going to try to only get objective one. Should be pretty easy. So yeah. 
for that. I'm going to see if I can find where the ghost room is. And if I do, I'm going to drop a notebook in there. So, yeah. 12. This room is kind of cold, yeah. Can you give me a sign? Right there. Can you give me a sign? Oh, freezing temperatures. Yep, it's definitely this room. Alright. Good to know. Okay, got the bone. You may fold five. Turn off the light in there. Fingerprints confirmed. Jennifer Smith, show yourself. Okay. Took a picture of it. I wonder if I stopped that hunt with the crucifix. But give me a second. I'm going to go back and check the objectives real quick. It did, spook me, it did spook me a little bit, because I jumped into the closet, but I still had the nerves to kind of take the photo there. Okay, I didn't, I didn't manage to get it with this much sticks or anything. Hmm. I think that might be good enough. I'm going to see, yeah, so we just figured out what type of ghost it is. We haven't done any other objective other than that, so I think we're good. Just double check. Perfect. Okay. That should be good. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Alright, so we did objective one. No other objectives. Photos. Evidence. Ten bucks for insurance. Fifty bucks. Forty experience. Okay. So we did get a lot of experience just from that objective one and remember to check the okay for so for this limit test i think all There's i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit down careful. i'm gonna hit up objective four and not objective one so i'm not gonna discover what ghost it is i'm just gonna do one of the objectives and we'll see where that where in terms of xp where that lands us heard footsteps Three. Perfect. It's cold here. That's where the ghost is. Perfect. We got that objective done. Alright, let's just leave. Let's see. Let's see how much um let's see how much experience we get with just one objective completed that isn't finding what type of ghost we're dealing with. Welcome back. Okay, so just one objective, nothing else. Ghost was a demon. 20 experience. Okay. So for this this run, I kind of want to see if I can knock off as many objectives as possible and get as many pictures as I can and see how much experience I get uh, just in general. John Martinez, can you give me a sign? John Martinez. There's the bone. I'm going to keep track where that is. John Martinez. Oh, right here. I think this is the area here. I'm going to do another sweep around here, kitchen. John Martinez, can you give me a sign? I'm going to drop the book somewhere here on the ground. Okay. And I'm out. Can you give me a sign? There's nothing now. Can you give me a sign?
the EMF there. I'm gonna go and uh, grab some more stuff, I think. Place the camera facing this way, I think. There we go. And I'm gonna go out. No ghost orbs. Oh, just move the notebook a little bit, and I see ghost orbs. All right, ghost orbs confirmed. John Martinez, attack me. Do it, pussy. I think that should be enough. I managed to get a picture of him, I think. Does that count? Bone, ghost, yes, perfect. Okay. I got one. Got one, got one, got one. Jesus Christ, that only took forever. I didn't even cleanse the area. God damn, I fucking hate this thing. I fucking hate shades. God damn. Fuck all this shit. Get out of here, oh my god. It's the stupidest thing I've ever done. It's my sanity now. How'd it get down to 30%? Oh my god. Welcome back. I prepared some jobs for you. Alright. Alright, so we managed to complete objective one, objective four, took twenty dollars worth of photos, ten dollars of bone evidence, ten dollars of insurance, sixty dollars total. Sixty XP. Okay. That's, that's great. Perfect. My god. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Phasmophobia. If you liked the video, like and subscribe. Goodbye. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.